But I do want to jump back into Star Wars here, too, because Bob Iger said that there's going to be a, a third television series. Now, uh, there were reports and rumors that the Obi-Wan series was going to be the next one. So a lot of people are leaning off, thinking that's gonna, that'll be the case. Um, I still think there's a shot that it may be, instead of the so, uh, Darth Bane stuff that they're going to do, and maybe they can do it as a TV show. You know, maybe they maybe yeah. they lean heavily into a into a Sith related kind of program because I think that I like the villain shows. I just think we've gotten yeah. away from, and it's fine from from a lot of the Jedi stuff in Force stuff, which people love, and we haven't done a lot of it because you know you're going to get you're not going to have much of it in Mandalorian. Uh, you're not going to yeah. have much of it in Cassian Andor. So maybe it's Obi Wan, or maybe it's something completely different. Thoughts, opinions. What do you think? I want Ahsoka. A series? Yeah. Oh, that'd be interesting. I want to see it. And I want to play her. Yeah. Oh, you want to play her? What about Ashley Eckstein? You're going to knock I Ashley mean, out of the way? If, I, obviously, if it's Ash, if right. Ashley's doing it, uh, great. But, she should totally do it. But yeah. if Ashley is not doing it, then I would Was like she the voice of Ahsoka? Ahsoka? Yeah, she Yeah, she's yeah. the voice of Ahsoka. Um, but I feel like that, like, if from reading the book, you know, there's so much stuff with the Force in there and how she became who she became in Rebels and you know right. that would be really I think I think people love her as a character and would want to hear more or see more of that story and there's you know there's so much world you can explore with her because we don't know right. where she went but in, in the book more Megan, using a live action version yeah yeah mm -hmm. for TV series Riley yeah. what do you think the, the third TV series will be if it if it indeed happens uh, I think it's Obi-Wan I think it's Obi-Wan yeah I really do there was too much smoke and uh, to not have a fire we had a movie maybe possibly we had a script. happening yeah. there was we had a, script. a script with who Riley uh, it, it, what was the director's name? So Stephen Frears? He was the I guy believe? who did Billy Elliot. No, I'm saying as Obi-Wan. Uh, Ewan McGregor? You want him. Oh, oh you yeah. have to be. Yeah. You can't do this. Yeah, you can't do the series without Ewan McGregor. And Ewan McGregor now, so? he's done is it, is television, it? he's done you know, yeah. Fargo, Fargo he's, right. he's, he's a great actor, he wants to do this. Right. And, they get all the, and they're getting all the Marvel actors to do yeah. it, why not get Ewan well, McGregor? Well, because I think, I, what I'm curious to find out is like, because a lot of them are limited, it's not like, oh... This could go on for forever, right? The ones well, that they've announced, are they saying it's Roxy, kind of like Roxy, Yeah, well, Roxy made this very clear to me back in when we started talking about this, that limited series, I think that a lot of people think that when you say limited series, you think that it might mean it's just six episodes or seven episodes and then that's it. Limited series could mean three seasons yeah. uh, at yeah. seven episodes. It's just eight. that it's capped. Like right. They already know how right. long it's going to run. Mandalorian yet. has already been picked up for season two. Okay. Um, and they and so I don't I forget how many episodes they said the first one was. Does anybody know? I'm not sure. Eight but or ten. Eight or ten. But it, so either either way, um, I think that Obi Wan would definitely be limited, and I think you could just do it maybe like a mini series. Yeah. Well, because it's like you look at all the Marvel ones that are coming out now, and I'm I was kind of like I wonder if because you know you always hear those actors sign on, and it's like. 10 movies that they signed right. on for from the first one. And I'm like, I wonder if now because they're doing the TV series stuff, they're like, okay, we'll knock off one of, like, this will count towards <laughs> one of the movies in your contract. And not in a bad way, but where it's like, we'll do this limited run. It'll be probably around the same amount of time that you might shoot a massive one of the movies, but it's going to be, we're going to break it down into series, like right. how they shot That's House smart. of Cards. Yeah. The other thing that people um, are up in, not up in arms, but are talking about was that Bob Iger also said there are what, like six movies in development? Yeah. He said half a dozen Star Wars movies yeah. in development currently. That's the one to me yeah, that, also. yeah, but no, no, but that's the one to me that people shouldn't think it's, anything yeah. of. Yeah. Because when I was at Silver, Joe Silver's company, there were like 15 movies mm -hmm. in development. Yeah. Not, it, development is just the process of reading the scripts. Yeah. Until it's greenlit, that's when, it, of course, there's stuff in development. Yeah. I mean, 45 that, DC movies in development right, right now. Like right. So many. Yeah. So the in development means nothing. <laughs> it's the, the series, though. The series is the one that stands out yeah. because the series is like, oh, okay, there's another series that's about to be announced. Sometimes I wonder, though, if Lucasfilm goes, oh, shit, Bob Iger's talking again because now he's coming in. Oh, God, now there's all this pressure on us. I'm going to be wondering I, what the series I is. I don't think so. He know They know exactly what he's going to say. He's not just going to go off the cuff and be like, also, we're doing this and we're doing this. I don't know. They've uh, for this, From the sh shareholders, I heard, I mean, there was one time he told the shareholders that I know that Lucasfilm was kind of like, oh, I didn't know he was going to make that announcement today. I, well, but I think it's like it's already been talked about. It's not like oh, they know it. Yeah, yeah but it, yeah. maybe they didn't know it was going to release to the public. Yeah. Is kind of what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. and the in development thing is, I totally agree. It's like yeah. everywhere is developing a bajillion things. Like I could submit an idea somewhere, and they're it's like, "Well, that one's in development," right. which is smart. You should develop many things, and yep. then you should pick the best ones. Exactly, yep. and it gives, it gives you time to work on it. Plus the fact that we know that we're getting these movies, twenty twenty two, twenty four, and twenty six. You have. 
a lot of time to develop. Yeah. A and lot it's of also time. good for them to then, because during development, a lot of times it's like different writers come on or, yep. you know, they meet a bunch of different people. And so it's like, okay, well, now that means that you may meet a writer or director that might not be right for this project, but they'd be great for this other thing that we're working on. And the so. flip side of that, too, is sometimes, and this happened all the time when I was working at Silver, you'd have a script that you think is pretty good, right? But then you bring in somebody who's got to take off of that script that they read but want to go a completely different direction. Yeah. Like, shit, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Let's do that. And that's what happens. So they're going to be writing a script right now. And like Tiffany said, and, and somebody comes in in two years, sits down and goes, well, the four scripts that you gave me that are in development – this is the one I like the most, and this is what I would do with that. Yeah. Great. Again, I'm going to tell Iger about it. That sounds yeah. amazing. Green light it. Let's go. That kind of shit happens all the time. Yeah. Um, and then there's other ones that just stick in that s- a shelf and don't yeah. move. Or get passed to like different writers yeah. over and over, and it's still like not right. right. Or different studios. Yeah. I mean, Can I ask a question? I want to, no. uh, from the development standpoint, now that they, he has confirmed it's Benioff and Weiss, yeah. three movies. Are those considered still in development or no greenlit? No, those are, those are in, in production now. In production yeah. now. In production. So the six half a dozen are not yeah. including those. But like Roxy just said, there's, there's 75 movies in development yeah. for DC. Yeah, no, there's, I understand that's, that. That's, that's a light. That's a light number. I said yeah. 45. Them <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. Mine was a made up number too. So. But, but, what, yeah. but whatever. But whatever it is, it's like there's there's tons of uh, times these six. big movies, especially like Disney. You know how many movies Disney has in development? So many yeah. movies in development. Yeah. So that, well, didn't that, they come out and say that too? They were doing. There's like a bunch of stuff in development reboots. Yeah. Of, of Disney stuff uh, like uh, I just read that. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, when you have all that money, you just throw. Give, let me see your version. Go take Black Cauldron. See what you can do with mm-hmm. it. And it's yeah. in development right any now. Any thoughts, Christian, on what any of these six could be? Um, I definitely think there's something along the lines of uh, I really think they're going to be exploring more of the Old Republic stuff because, and I've been calling for it for years. And but this is canon. A lot of Old Republic. Well, there's stuff that's oh, – Darth Bane is definitely But you're talking about canon. that with the Benioff and Weiss one. Benioff and Weiss for sure. But I think but it could be some, the other six. But I think they can explore back then. I think they can explore that particular time period because Kathleen Kennedy had never really addressed Old Republic until recently. And what's the guy? Josh Horowitz? Is that the guy named from, from MTV? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So he had asked her about the old republic, and she said, "You know, people have been asking that forever. We get that question all the time, yeah. and there's definitely going to be. We're, we're looking to explore that time period. So that 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 to me, man, okay, that that's a little bit more realistic now. Um, I also think inside that same interview, she talked about that eventually, you can spin off characters from this new trilogy. People think mm-hmm. that there's not going to be any continuation because they said no more episode ten, eleven, and twelve. That doesn't mean that Finn might not get his own movie or, or Ray might get to see Ray's parents. Well, yeah, I mean, do you think Tiffany and one of these six that's something they're developing? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I think it's one of those things too, where it's like we, I would have to see how I have to see how the last one ends yeah. to kind of really have a good opinion. But I feel like that would be something where it's like I would watch that. I don't know what junk traders do, but yesterday I had to throw away my brother's <laughs> trampoline. Okay, yeah, and I went to a dump to throw it away, and dumps are awesome. Yeah, like there's so much <laughs> stuff going on. There was like, have oh you my, never been to a dump? Never been to a dump oh, before. Dump sites are crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so a junk trader show on a dump. It's Come like on. Captain so, EO. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so to the answer to that yes. question is, there's tons of, of of stuff that they can do, and I think that this is going to be actually a great thing for Star Wars to move away from the saga because I think there's just too many expectations on this saga now that's all tied in from the original trilogy of the prequels to this new one um, I think that with brand new characters and brand new stuff inside of the lore it really takes expectations off of what the fans want and it allows you to explore in a, in a new realm and I think that that's what they they will uh, do and that's what they should do well, just, less, oh sorry go uh, no I just hope they I I, I want to stay away from like the original trilogy yeah. stuff yeah. you know what so I mean saying, like yeah. go really far back or, or even Go right after Return of the Jedi because we don't know that. Well, but I year think that that's what they're going to do with the Mandalorian, and that's yeah. What well, think, that's what I'm yeah, excited yeah, about. Yeah. But I just, I hope we don't get like a, a bunch of like the six movies are like we have a Yoda movie in development, yeah. uh, we have this movie in development about the building of the second Death Star. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? It's like I, I hope. I think it's, they're gun shy now. Death because, Star Two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Rogue, because I think, Rogue Two. I think Solo. Oh, God. I think Solo did one of two, uh, did some things. I think that Yoda movie's not going to happen because yeah. of Solo. And it's why I believe that Obi Wan, the movie, got nixed because yeah. of Solo, which I think was a, actually a bad move. I think they still would have done. I think it that Obi Wan. You never know. That still could be happening. That could be one of the ones they're yeah, talking I about. Yeah, I think it's going to be serious. Attack of the Clones is basically an Obi Wan movie. 
Mm. <laughs> it's, Anakin, it's Anakin in a field talking about his feelings, and it's Obi Wan actually doing Jedi work. Well, yes. the thing, well, the prequel, well, yeah, that's what he's doing in the movie. But the, the pre, that was one of the biggest problems with the prequels. Maybe not. Is that I didn't think there's a crazy statement. Uh, well, but the prequels, the prequels didn't have a a protagonist. 